Swole Benji here. Today is the day it is July 17th, and up here in this little blue circle, 25% additional fame. I almost said 50. I don't know why, but it is time to mass level potion crafting. Aren't you guys excited? <laughs> we are uh, going to go ahead and get started here, and I'm going to just power level alchemy up to level fit, or all the other potions up to level 50. I have not checked the shop prices. Hopefully they're not super high. Let's see. 71. Oh, Corn Daddy, you are you are too kind. 69. Ooh, MSSJ. Now, MSSJ did offer Chad's, um, uh, uh, what's it called? Associate discount. But last time I checked, um, it was not available. 60. Oh, Corn Daddy, you're not so kind anymore. Okay, I'm going with Eva Raider here, but I'll check with M M bleh, MSSJ too. Normally, these shops are, like, way overpriced for Fame Week. They are normally, like, super expensive, like, in the 150% range. So either these guys haven't woke up and adjusted their prices yet, or they're running a special today. Uh, either way, I'm, I've got to take advantage now, right? I have to get 420 people in the in the city. Uh, not, not as a fun number as 69, of course, but, you know, MSSJ, let's see if I get that associate discount with you. Because you did say that Chad's were, ge were getting it, but sadly, I am not getting it. Because it's showing 69 instead of 60. So I've got to go with Eva, Eva Raider down here. And for those that don't know, you can left click uh, a crafting bench to, to only highlight those on the map so we can see. Alchemy here, Eva Raider. He's going to charge 60%. He's got about half as much crafting capacity. So let's get started. 5,000. Um, it's going to cost 600,000. So that's fine. And. Uh, I don't expect you guys to sit here and watch me level bootlegger the whole time, but may maybe we should. I don't know. This is, uh, look at all these levels. We started at level zero, by the way, um, and it, when I go back and do the other pumpkins, that should put us around level 50-ish. Then we'll, we'll do invisibility potions with all of the moonshine we've made. Oh, is this, is this, this is cranking my weight up, actually. So it's a good thing I didn't come in at 130%, actually. Yeah, look at that. We got we got see that plus twenty five percent here on the fame earnings. That's why we waited for fame week. This is gonna save us so much money, <laughs> and we can actually take our levels higher if we wanted. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna be checking how much focus it costs to craft poison potions, and I should stop at a certain point. But um, I already bought the ingredients. The ingredients are actually gonna be really hella priced by the end of this week. And the potions themselves will be on sale for the next, like, two to three months because everyone's going to be crafting. So, it's a buyer's market right now um, <laughs> for consumables. Not so much for crafters, but I bought this a good week or two before game week, so I saved money. Gotta, gotta save that money, lads. And, and I'm the only YouTuber on, on YouTube, duh. I'm the only content creator out there. I haven't been checking Twitch, but... Not, I'm the only content creator that told you guys, like, weeks in advance about Fame Week and how you should save up your materials and get ready for Fame Week. And a lot of people are like, oh, Fame Week's never going to happen. SBI and Stillfront, they, they're they canceling Fame Week. And, y you know, that was, like, the big scare, right? Wait, 120. We don't want to go above 130 because that's going to make us real slow and fat. But, yeah, um... I feel like I'm the only guy that was telling people about Fame Week. I think I've got enough silver for all my crafting. I made sure to, you know, build up my uh, net worth there on this character so I can afford all this. And after a couple of months, two or three months, I'll be able to sell all this stuff, make it back. Or I can be like any normal player and just start consuming more potions. <laughs> all right, so what did that put us? Well, that put us at level 29 bootlegger. All right, so we still got some more to go. And no, I'm not using focus on this. Uh, I, this will let this character use focus for much cheaper for its main <laughs> crafting, which, which is poison potions. That's that's what my guy does. He, he crafts poisons. And this is going to get annoying, this little level mastered thing. It's just going to keep going off the whole video. I don't have a way to turn that off. I mean, I could mute the sound, but it's whatever, man. You know, it's just it's just how it, it's going to be, okay? i got to get back to my island and throw this into the invisibility potion chest, which I think is next to it. Alright. How's my recording software? We're doing we're doing good, no laggy, no lag. That is the invisibility potion one. That should do it. And then more pumpkins. 
<laughs> I should maybe, I think I should maybe do a pork pie just to make things a little, a little smoother. Let's, let's grab some pork, pork pies. That's in my cra or in my gathering chest. I have a, I have a whole chest dedicated to gathering gear and loot and loadouts. All right, and yeah, this is gonna be a longer video, so you get, you guys can listen to me just craft away. It's just a crafting video, guys. L watch Soul Binge craft. Okay, so that put us down to 80, 96, 112. All right, that's fine. We got the bear. The bear. I'm not using a transport mammoth. I could. I could use a transport mammy, but I'm not going to. Uh, that was gonna be like a special separate video, um, cause I do have that recorded. Anyway, we're using the bear. I know. That's because, no like, normal players will never have a transport mammoth. Um, and it's not in Bridgewatch anyway, it's, uh, it's somewhere else right now. I don't feel like moving it all the way across the world, or paying the fee, just to save a bit of, of time. Yeah, uh, thank you, Eva Raider. That is the cheapest I've ever seen in Alchemy Lab in years, dude. So, um, shoutouts to Eva Raider. Uh, for going against the cartel, most likely. Everyone else is, is up there but him. How much is this one? 71? Why is it empty? What'd he do? Oh well. Either way, we're gonna we're gonna get in on this. Man, that's a lot of moonshine, guys. But hey, this is this is how you do it. We have spent a million on <laughs> We spent over a million so far on crafting. And the thing is, the moonshine is not, is, it does not resell for more expensive than the pumpkins. And yeah, you do get some pumpkins back. Um, but you don't get enough back to offset the cost. Like, I'm not getting over a million dollars worth of moonshine over the cost of the pumpkin. So this is a, it's a straight loss. But it's going to let us craft invisibil bleh, invisibility and tier 8 uh, poison potions. But it's all about, it's all about the levels. I'm going to make this up by focus crafting poisons so yeah good stuff i'm also aware that i could speed this crafting up by using a kraken salad i know that um kraken salad increases your crafting speed it also increases your crafting like uh your your chance to get higher quality crafts but potions don't have a higher quality craft ever they they always craft the same quality unless you use arcane essence which we will be using we will be crafting some enchanted potions today lads um <laughs> can i can i check my market sales while i do this no cuz that not canceled that canceled it okay that's siphon energy sales <laughs> 10 million in siphon energy yeah oh wait no it's still going no i moved i didn't mean to move uh that's fine it doesn't like take your money or nothing uh, cedar logs, because I did some wood chopping for a video, and then people that I don't know that just add me to the friends list. Sorry, dudes. If you want, if you want to add me to your friends list, guys, you gotta join the Discord, and you gotta get to know me. I gotta get to know you. I gotta see that you're based in Red Pill. You can't just, you, you can't just add me to friends list. Otherwise, my friends list would fill up. I don't, I don't. People like I used to just add everyone that added me to friends list, right? A long time ago, I would just click yes to everybody. No one talked to me. No one played with me. Uh, so I was just like a trophy on their friends. Like, hey, look who's friends with Soul Binge. Oh, I'm his best friend, dude. Uh, sorry, man. You, you got it. You can actually talk to me, man. But yeah, you can see all the pumpkins we're getting back. And yes, we could focus craft it, but it's a waste. Uh, I'm saving that focus for something, uh, something else. Because I am power leveling, uh, calm free on this character now. But yeah. Maybe I should go with the Kraken salad. Yeah, I can. Oh, I'm about to hit 130%. We're about to be fatties. <laughs> uh, should I stop here? Save a little bit of travel time? And eh, nah, we're fine. We're all right. We'll, we'll, we'll just take the, We'll just take it slow. I'm. Uh, I wanted to get up earlier because I was afraid all of these shopkeepers would raise their prices to absurd amounts, but. Either they're not awake or they're running a deal, so that's cool, man. I'm, <laughs> that's gonna save a lot of money. Like, imagine if I had to pay double to power level. Okay, yeah, we're so fat. We are. Oh, we're so slow. But hey, that's more time you get to spend with your swole Benji YouTuber. You know, uh, I don't know if this is gonna be part of the grinding series. I mean, it is. It is a grind. You know, it's just power level and crafting, really. Mm, there's not really like a like a infographic I could put on the screen of how much you know that I I'm leveling, but oh, bootlegger, where are we at? We are at 45. We're almost at level 50. The goal was to get everything to 50, and I don't know if I calculated it right. I might have rounded some numbers down, maybe too much. 
that's okay. You know, <laughs> getting it up there is good enough. You don't have to get it perfect. It doesn't have to be fully aligned. One thing that I've learned, because, uh, you know, like OCD, everything has to be, like, absolutely, like, lined up and perfect. I'm, like, the opposite. I'm, like, chaos OCD, where every, nothing can, no, nothing is allowed to be perfectly aligned. Nothing, nothing is allowed to be straight, right? So, like, assuming I ever own a house, all the picture frames, like, who who would put picture frames in a house anyway? Like, that's for family normies. It would all be crooked on the wall. Um, everything would just be, like, maladjusted. Like, even my monitors aren't tilted, like, correctly. Okay? Like, <laughs> Dragon Ball Z is for kids? Hey, Blue Page, I don't know who you are, but I see your name a lot dropped. Dragon Ball Z is not for children. It is for grown men. That is, that is, uh... You're not muted. Hey, you got unmuted. What? Oh, blue pad was muted. Okay, you you just you you just mutivated. That's all you did. Uh, anyway. <laughs> oh, I can't hold any more on that one. Okay, well we'll just put it back in here and then. And yeah, we got a lot of pumpkins to go, man. Oh, geez. We'll stop there. That's like what two more trips. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna hit level fifty then. Oh, Fame Week, you're the best week. I had to wait all year for you to level this up, man. That's a lot. That's patience. That's gamer patience. Yeah, we're talking about Dragon Ball Z and how it is not is not for ch I mean, it is for kids, but it is also for adults. Adults can enjoy anime as well. Man, I, I remember being a kid, and I would rush home from school, and I would watch Dragon Ball Z, and it upset me so much every time, because they would get, like, really far into, like, the Frieza saga, and then it it would suddenly just start over. Like, the whole series would just start over from the very start of Dragon Ball with, uh... Who, who's the character uh, that invades Earth? Is it Raditz? Is he the first guy? Like, the first boss or something? Um, and you would have to wait the whole time. There was no internet back then. There was no... Oh, jeez, I'm spitting so much silver. I gotta make sure it's still 60%. They can be sneaky and raise the price. But, um... Yeah, you would have to wait months for the dang each daily episode to catch up to where it left off and then you get a few new episodes and then it would start over again it was it was absolute torture man like that's okay that's one thing i don't like about anime especially an, an anime that i've been watching is none of it's finished okay like get this like you watch overlord overlord's a popular anime i see a lot of ains i go named characters in the game we can talk about overlord right i think season four starts in october right Bro, I've, I've watched that anime years ago, and it's still not, like, completed. It's like, it's like watching a movie that just blue balls you the whole time. Like, there's never an end. And I'm sure, like, if you read the books, if you're, like, a book nerd, that um, the series is over. Uh, but, but for us anime enjoyers, like, you have to wait years and years and years. Like, Sword Art Online started in 20, 2011, didn't it? Or 2000... I don't, it, it's a, it's a long time ago, and it's still not done, right? I think the, the, what is it? Uh, Sword Art Online Progressive, s s Aria of a Starless Night, that comes out in November? Or September in Japan? I forget. It's, it's one of those months, uh, this year. And, you know, that's not even dubbed. Like, I don't watch non-dubbed it. I know, I know people are gonna click off the video for me saying this, but I can't lie to you guys. Uh, I ha I can only watch dubbed anime. I, I don't understand Japanese words or emotions, right? Like uh, like if an anime character is like, I love you, you know, like you you can you can kind of tell the emotion as long as the voice actress isn't cringe, right? But in Japan, it's like, oh, watashi wa sakura na ne, right? And I'm like, well, what is he? It's it's kind of like listening to German. Like Germans just sound angry all the time when they speak normally, and I'm not like trying to be like you know, language weird or anything, but that's just how it sounds. I mean, they could be, like, super overjoyed, right? Because I know a lot of Germans in real life, and when they see me, they just, like, speak German to me, thinking I, know, I understand their language. I'm kind of a, I'm kind of an outsider where, where I'm at, but uh, I'm like, I don't know what you're saying, man. But luckily everyone, mostly everyone speaks English where, I, where I'm at, sort of, kind of, at least enough to uh, to get by I suppose like I can ask someone do you know where the bathroom is and they they understand it's like if I went to Mexico and they said um okay I don't know any Spanish <laughs> um maybe I, I don't know I, <laughs> I don't know any languages I'm really really bad at learning languages I have tried so hard my entire life 
There's some things that I just can't learn, okay? Language is one of them. Sorry, I don't like I don't like going quiet, but I literally just woke up, so I haven't done any vo voice warm-ups and I haven't had anything to drink. And yeah, it's um yeah, so you'll have to excuse my moments of silence. That's just me uh not making disgusting noises into the microphone for you guys that you know, they're watching this. But um like I have I have tried all all the little things to learn languages like like school. I have, you know, that did nothing. Um uh what is it? Like books, reading books did nothing. Like actually speaking with native speakers who actively wanted to teach me like there was this one guy that tried to teach me Spanish and for like 4 years every day we would practice it and I just <laughs> it was just a waste of time cuz I couldn't absorb any of it cuz I'm just like a doo-doo head brain, right? And uh uh, I've tried Duolingo, I've tried Rosetta Stone, I've tried all those little websites. Um, I've even tried little note cards, like keeping note cards in my pocket with phrases. Like, I can't even speak English words properly, right? Like, people always in the comments make fun of how I pronounce words. Uh, and I'm not gonna pronounce them differently, okay? Like, you can forget about it. Alright, we're almost done with our pumpkin <laughs> moonshine crafting, lads. And that took two million silver. Oh no, did I did I make enough silver to, to level all these? I hope I did. I know that moonshine is hella expensive. It's like 120 per, okay, per craft, and you have like 20,000 crafts or something. I forget. I made a video. There's a video on my channel that talks about all the math that I'm doing today. That just completely goes over everything I'm doing. Okay, so the, I'm worried about his crafting capacity, man, because I don't want to go to another bench. This is the cheapest one in town. Evening, YouTuber. Evening, Ex Exaz. You're, you're on the video. Congrats. I'm perma-muted, so I can't reply to you, man. But I uh, hope you're having a good crafting fame week. Maybe you follow the vids and you're also an alchemist. I can't. You can't really check other people to see if they're an alchemist or not. Uh, but he's using tier 3 ox. Uh, what's his stats? 2 million fame, so he's kind of a new character. Uh, Beast Raider, what's that? 31 members. Ooh, guys. They're... You can do Avalonian <laughs> dungeons. <laughs> yep. Oh boy. Um, with 31 members. Dude, I have... <laughs> I have over 2,000 people in my alliance, dude. I have two... Hello? Tell me the alliance. 2,300 people in my alliance. I can't get no one to do nothing. No one wants to do anything, except like newbies in tier 4. I'm not doing a group dungeon with tier 4, dude. That's like your first freaking day. Like, fame up a little Let's bit. Go. Come on, if I can get tier 7-3 in my second day, so can you guys. Like, I'm not gonna just carry people for free, okay? Like, I can just do that stuff solo. Alright, we got... <laughs> Where are we at on bootlegger? 57. I, I, I didn't do the math correctly. I was trying to land on level 50, but we went over, and that's okay. That is fine. What's next? Invisibility potions. Okay, um, how are we going to do this? I'll just take a stack of that, a stack of that, two stacks of that, two stacks of that, um, and definitely two stacks of that. Okay. Getting a little overburdened here, um, so we're just going to take a... No. No, I, no. Okay. How do I do half a stack? There we go. Take half a stack, put that back. Take half a stack, put that back. And for those that are wondering how the heck I'm doing that, I'm holding shift and, and dragging left click. Okay, I think that that works. Um, hopefully this doesn't put us too overweight when we craft the damn... Potions are lightweight, generally. Like, Moonshine is not lightweight, but potions are lightweight. So maybe I didn't have to do that, but... This isn't... This is expensive here. Like, each craft of this stuff is 11 freaking thousand. I gotta make sure I'm doing invisibility potions too, and... Okay, I'm just making sure he's not raising his prices, you know, like, ugh. Okay, invisibility potions. This, won't, this one won't take as long. <laughs> We've already eaten through half of our pork pie, like, so, I, how, how do you think food works in this game? You eat it once and you're just satiated the whole time, or you just, like, munch on it slowly as you, like, do your activity, right? Like, am, am I just, like, forking down pork pie as I ride my bear? And the bear's like, man, give me some, bro. Okay, invisibility potion. Not major, not not major poison. Hundred four thousand focus if I wanted to craft. All right. 
<laughs> oh, how much did that cost? Only 116,000. See, it's not so bad. It, the the freaking moonshine cost a ton, but this, not so bad. It does take a little bit longer to craft, though, and that's fine. Uh, we, we're going to get way more experience when it pops up. Come on now, they pop up in like batches. There we go, 54,000. We got a bunch of stuff back. Alright. Very cool. Man, this this has been a huge investment. Each chest in my base there that you saw earlier, each chest is like, what, 7 to 8 million silvers worth of materials. And let me tell you, I bought out the market many, many times to, to do this. Like, Dragon Teasel was the freaking herb that sold out the most. Dragon Teasel was just hella expensive because, like, I would buy out the entire market and, like, quadruple its price. And I wasn't going to, like, not have all the materials for this week, so I had to buy out, like, things way overpriced. I even went to Martlock because Limhurst was empty, too. Someone else in Limhurst was doing the same thing I'm doing, and I had to go to Martlock and buy out all of their stock of Dragon Teasel. There's not enough Dragon Teasel farmers in the game. And I understand why. It's a tier 5, it's harder to get into, you know? But if you only wanted to grow herbs, Dragon Teasel, man, that, that stuff is used in a lot of things. So, maybe that's like the sleeper uh, herb to grow if you just want to grow one thing and not worry about crafting. I, I don't know, I would have to run tons and tons of numbers on it, you know? 4,320 silver for 5 potions. Man, I have so many invisibility potions, I'm never going to use all of these. And yeah, I could sell them in 2-3 to three months, that's fine, you know? Like, what did we run out of? We ran out of ghoul yarrow, so I just need to grab more stacks of ghoul yarrow. How much did that get us? That got us to level 28. Oh, Fame Week, you're so generous. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. You, the reason I hit level 57 instead of 50 is because I did the math to hit level 50 without Fame Week because the worst-case scenario was that I woke up today and SBI decided no more Fame Weeks, even on their anniversary week, right? And they're, they're extending it to nine days for some reason, so that's cool. It's only seven days. Yeah, well, this says eight days, 20 hours, so... You can see that I was like four hours late to the party. <laughs> hey, uh, you, you guys should know the rule. You know, never like show up early to parties, always be the first to leave, that kind of stuff. I, I don't know. Add some more milkers, add some more moonshiners. Throw in another yarrow. Throw in some more of that. Throw in that, that, more of this. 125, that's pretty good, uh, because we're, our weight's going to go down, like potions don't weigh nothing, we can craft more that way. Down to 18.9 million silver, guys. Man, we've been chewing through that silver, and we got a lot to go. There's still a lot of crafting to go. Uh, this is just all one swoop, we're just leveling our alchemy. Guys, if you need potions, Soul Binge is your man, I'm a uh, potion seller, I need your strongest potions. You're too weak for my strongest potion. You guys know the meme, it's it's a really old YouTube video, uh, I don't know why it got so popular, but hey, it's in our culture now, it's part of who we are, we just have to accept that. Am I lagging? No, I'm good, alright. Hmm. We just, uh, I don't know if we're just gonna use all the crafting capacity on this bench or not, like, do I, am I gonna have to feed this guy? Can I even feed this guy? Invisibility potion, you gotta make sure I'm crafting the right one now. There we go. I could probably, like, get up and go, like, get a drink or something, use the bathroom. I, I, I didn't do any of my morning stuff. I didn't even check my comment section, and I that's the first thing I always do when I wake up is I check the YouTube comments. I pin uh, the same comment that I always pin on all my videos and stuff. Uh, I guess I can check Discord. Let's see. Someone asked me what my favorite game is in Discord. Um, it's... It's actually a game called In the Groove 2, which is an ultra, ultra rare arcade game. Um, it was made by Rocksore Studios, which is an indie company. It's basically Dance Dance Revolution, but made by Americans with different music. And what happened was Konami, which is the owners of DDR, you know, Konami, the people that made Metal Gear Solid and all that stuff, video game company, they're mostly like a slot machine company now. They sued Rocksore for the rights to In the Groove, and right before the lawsuit like finalized and they had to hand over all their assets in their company, they released a patch via USB drive 
that allowed them to update all the In the Groove machines to what's called Patch R21, which allowed you to run custom step files from Step Mania on the machine, and it would play the music. So, while In the Groove 2, you know, had its set list, kind of like DDR, like, if you go play DDR, you can only play Dance Dance Revolution songs that have been approved by the company, right? But on In the Groove, after this patch, right before this lawsuit, like, finalized, you could play any song you wanted. Alright, and that, oh, that made the, that made that arcade, like, the replay value became infinite, okay? For those that don't play dance games, or arcade games, or Step Mania, or any of that stuff, Basically, you could take your favorite songs and you could add steps to them, right? Uh, so, but this also caused problems because, like, I could play naughty music at an art at an arcade, and the soccer moms would get like seething mad. Like, um, you know that song, like "Jizz in My Pants" or whatever. I, I, it's made by the dude that's on like Saturday Night Live. I forget I forget the name, but like you could play like you know, songs like that. You could play anime weeb music that would drive normies crazy. You could play, like, anything. Anything you wanted <laughs> on there, right? Okay, let's put those potions back up. And what am I out of? Um, uh, the yellow stuff? Sort of. The reds. Ghoul yarrow. Can I carry all of this? Is it going to over... How much overweight am I going to be? 139. Give me the milkers. 154. Alright, let's do it. That hopefully this will get us there. Uh it's gonna it's gonna be a slow walk, but we'll get it. I've got more pork pies, so I'm not gonna like run out in the middle of walking and be stranded, because that sucks. Um that's a real pain in the butt if that's ever happened to any of y'all, but okay, yeah, so they released this patch. Oh, and another thing is that um in this patch you could apply a little hack to, to sound files. Uh, you had to use .ogg sound files. And there is a uh, script you could run on an OGG sound file where it can't read how long the song is. So basically, if you take a really long song, like, like uh, think of like Final Fantasy VII, One Wing and Angel. That song is like 10 minutes, right? Normally, DDR machine songs are like 2 minutes or less. It really depends on the song, but... No more than two to three minutes stops, right? And, uh, so what happened was you could hack the OGG sound file and you could have, you could have a song file that was like one hour long if you wanted. You could literally put one quarter into a machine or one credit or one card swipe into one of these machines now, use your custom step file and play for a whole hour on one song and you get like three to four songs per arcade, right? So... <laughs> So, um, Konami forced Rocksaur to release a patch to fix that, because, you know, Konami owned all the machines now, and they're like, hey, all these people are hacking our machines because of you, and they're playing basically for free at this point. So Rocksaur was like, okay, um, fine, here's R23, you can update it if you want to, but they also made it where you can unupdate it back to R21. What R23 did was, it limited the songs to two minutes, and anything over two minutes, like every two minutes, would cost an additional song. So if you want to play an eight minute song, you could, but it would take up four songs. Um, so some arcades updated it, some didn't. Most arcade owners had no clue that any of this was going on, and like anyone could update it. All you had to do was put the USB drive into the machine and then restart it. Just turn it off and back on, unplug it, plug it back in, and you could get to a menu that would let you do it. And so Konami, again, they, they made them update the R23 so that you had to go uh, into the admin panel, which you have to open up the coin slot and then use a toggle switch to get to the options menu there. And then after that, Rocksaur just released their schematics to their arcades. And all you had to do was unscrew two screws on the back of the machine. And you could reach your hand through the back of the cabinet to hit that options toggle switch. So... <laughs> Uh, and this, this toggle switch also allowed you to play free games, so essentially what happened was, uh, Rockstar said fuck you to Konami, <laughs> and they taught everyone how to basically open the machine and play for free. So that's like the most base thing any arcade game company has ever done for their people. I mean, because they weren't making money on it anymore, and, and they gave Konami the ultimate middle finger. But, um, 
Yeah. Uh, that's the story of In the Groove, my, my literal favorite game in the world. It, sadly, it's an arcade cabinet. Yes, it, you could emulate it on computer. You can get one of those... Um, what is it? Dance dance pads, the metal ones, and hook it to your computer and stuff like that, right? Um, there's a whole other story on that too. Uh, that you can't, you kind of can, and you kind of can't, because Windows Windows 10 messed that up. Okay, a lot of the old um, metal, and this is probably Konami's doing too, because they're just so hateful and spiteful over the whole thing. But essentially, Windows 10 changes the way those metal dance pad controllers work because they work on an axis which means like a joystick right if you're pushing a joystick like a like a nintendo controller upwards uh you can't also be pushing it downwards or to the left which means if you have one of those old timey dance pads with the way they're coded you can't press arrows at the same time like you can't do a left and right jump you can't you can't be holding on the up arrow and hitting the left arrow at the same time stuff like that right so all of those expensive old metal pads are completely busted and they don't work on Windows 10. No one has found a solution. If you if you roll back your windows to like Windows 2000, I think Windows 7 might work. Um, I never tried, or maybe it won't, I don't remember. Uh, is that it for, for potions? Are we done? We're at level 56, so I think we're done. We got a little bit of spill over here, you know, that's fine. All right, next potion. Oh boy, <laughs> but but yeah, lads, it's uh, it's crazy. Those machines are so they're like one of the rarest arcade. They're maybe not the rarest arcade. I don't know what is. It's probably like some old ass machine some collector wants to buy. But you can you cannot find an in the groove machine at an arcade anymore. You if you wanted to buy one of these machines, the cheapest I've ever seen them for, and I look all the time, right? I think the cheapest is ten thousand dollars for like a crappy one, right? Um, so, if I ever get a house, I'm, I'm getting one of those machines. That's like life goals. That's like a bucket list item. And, and if I ever become a huge YouTuber, then of course people are going to buy them and then try to, you know, flip them at me for hella expensive amounts. How much did this make us? Eight million? That's pretty cool. So, all that can go in there. Uh, let, let, let's go to this one. No, no, no. This one. Because, um... Uh, yeah, it's it's more expensive, so that's why we're doing it. Hmm. Okay, that should do it. No, you know I don't I don't want a fat run, so we're gonna put that back. There we go. Okay, so now we're doing healing potions. The, these are these are ones we make profit on because I bought these when they were hella cheap. I bought I bought the arcane essence when it was worth seven hundred. Now it's nine hundred sixty one. So I'm losing a lot of. I'm actually I could just sell the arcane essence for a huge profit right now for like, what is that twenty thirty percent from what I bought it for? Huge 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 money. All right. I don't want this bench to run out of crafting capacity. I wish I woke up earlier. Um. <laughs> But yeah, it's a real shame because um, I don't know. In the groove has it's a it's a it's a very huge piece of my like my life history, I guess. Because um, a long time ago, you know, as a late teenager, um, I was a skeleton, right? I couldn't afford food, and I got a normie job, you know, pushing carts, whatever, in retail. Worked my way up. But another thing too was I started making money and I started going out places because I was always too poor, right? Okay, we want to make sure we have enchantment on. 149,000. Yeah, let's go. And uh, so I started going to arcades, and of course, um, there was these dance arcades, which I'd never really played before. I mean, I played them as a child, but uh, in the groove was there, and I, I, the music was pretty good. You know, it's pretty poppin', right? Because it's different. It's way different than DDR music. And I started getting really good at it, and uh, I started becoming more athletic and agile. I mean, I was already like a baseball player, and I was, you know, kind of a little bit of a jock, but... Uh, this thing, this thing just like, I was a clumsy kid, okay, I was very klutzy, I would trip over myself all the time, like, you know the stereotypical walking down the hallway with a bunch of books, and you can't even walk right, and you're just tripping and falling, or the stereotypical running away from a murderer, and you trip and, and fall, that was like me, like, like, I guess I never had fully learned how to walk straight or run or anything, and, and I would always just trip and, and fall, and like, Oh man, just so many embarrassing stories of how clumsy I was, but that machine fixed my clumsiness, right? It taught me how to widen my stance more, it taught me so much about balance, like, 
it, it changed my life for the better. And at some point, like, I had stopped playing it, and because I was making a lot of money in retail and not lifting weights or doing any kind of cardio, um, which, those dance machines are huge cardio, by the way, um, I started getting fat. And for the first, like, for the first time in my life, I, I became fat. And, um, you know, I started seeking out that dance machine because I was like, hey, that's cardio. And I lost a lot of pounds doing that. And then eventually I got into the gym and lifting, and then, uh, you know, everything's good after that. That, that's many, many, many years ago, okay? You can, you can look up how old these freaking arcades are and stuff, but... Yeah, uh, that... In the Groove 2, definitely my favorite game ever. Uh, by a long shot. It has infinite replay value. You can take any recent song, any video game song, any soundtrack from any anime, and uh, I'm, someone's made a step chart out there for it. Someone has made a step chart, and you can go to the arcade and play it in front of a bunch of people. And, and the cool thing was, you know, like, I'm, I'm a straight-edge guy, I don't go to bars, I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't really socialize. And in my single years, you know, before I was red-pilled and understood how this stuff works, I would go to these arcades and I would get female attention. And, you know, this is before I was muscular and before I was a chad, essentially, I was just a blue-pilled beta playing arcade dance game. But it got me attention from the ladies, and, uh, you know, that is, that's just another bonus, right? Like, you go to the arcade... And, you know, some cutie goth girl is watching you play and she, like, congratulate you on how how awesome you are at the song. And even in my adulthood, I can go to an arcade and play DDR. And, like, DDR is so freaking easy compared to In The Groove. It is, it is leagues easier. So, like, what happened was all these professional DDR players in the area would go up against these In The Groove players and they were getting their butts kicked. Because the DDR players have been playing dance games on easy mode their whole life, and the, and the In The Groove players have been playing on extreme difficulty. And remember when I said that In The Groove had custom songs after the lawsuit? Well, you know what people started doing? They started pushing the limits of, the, like, they started doing Dragon Ball Z in real life shit. Uh, and what I mean by that is they literally started making songs extremely ultra-difficult to inhumane levels and then training on that until it became easy. So let, let me tell you a little bit of something. Okay, by default, the hardest difficulty level of song on In The Groove is 13. And by comparison, yes, DDR has higher numbers. They have like 15, right? A 15 in DDR is an 11 on In The Groove, okay? And In The Groove's highest difficulty is 13. So, uh, figure out the math on that one. But let me tell you, in today's day and age, I think people have pushed from level 13 to level, like, I think it's like 51 or something. <laughs> yes! Or, or maybe 37. I forget. It's like 37, 41, 51. It's somewhere up in that in that league, okay? it's They, they have pushed... You'd, you'd have to look this stuff up, but it is insane how fast people have become, how agile people have become that play this. And to get to those difficulties, you have to basically have a marathon runner's body and train hours a day and eat the maximize proper diet and be in your early, like, mid-20s at best. All right. Like, that's the only way to play. The, the, the people that are playing at that difficulty level, they're not even human anymore. They're, they're just... I don't know what to call them, but... Um, the fact that In The Groove surpassed DDR's difficulty made it where every DDR tournament ever was a cakewalk for... If, if you had one In The Groove player, like, the DDR player fears the In The Groove player, man. Right? And that's just how it is. Like, I used to go to DDR tournaments before In The Groove existed and stuff, and I would always, like, place last. Then I started playing In The Groove... And in the groove machines were, you know, they were more ghetto-fied because they were like an American cabinet. They were always in the bad parts of town and, you know, they had, you know, more risque music that was scary to normies and stuff. And, uh, you know, I played the heck out of that and then I'd go to DDR tournaments and everything, it's, the game was suddenly too easy. Like, DDR music was like, <laughs> Blue Page asking how to YouTube. Anyway, um, <laughs> it was just, it was easy. It was simple. Uh, and, and, like, In The Groove made you overly athletic for that kind of activity. It was just nuts. 
Now, sadly, I lost a lot of my dance gamer power because I started powerlifting, you know, like getting really freaking huge and scary. And, uh, like, I would do heavy lifts and my legs would be so sore that I couldn't even play dance game anymore. And, you know, it was kind of a sad day. Because uh, at the time, I had no idea how rare these machines would get and how, you know, hard it would be to find one. Like, there's still one that exists around me. Um, I have to drive, like, five hours to get to it, which I'm not doing. I'm sorry, but that's not a thing I'm gonna do. Hmm. Let's just add those. Can I add those? Oh, those those don't even weigh anything. I just carry all of those. Fuck it, right? Anyway, uh, so yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's just a fun, interesting era of dance gamer history. And yeah, there's been there's been newer DDR machines and newer DDR songs, and they're a little harder. I think DDR goes up to 17 now, for their difficulty, which is like a 14 or a 13. I think it's a 13 in 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 the groove terms. Like in the groove, like bass songs are still way more difficult. And here's the thing though, DDR songs they do have something over in the groove. You know, not not to just boast about how shitty DDR is, but DDR has more technical songs. Okay, and when I say technical, I mean crossovers. I mean, like, double taps, you know, freeze arrows into taps. There's there's a lot more technicality now on DDR than there isn't in the groove. That's just because it's been continuously growing. But technical songs are not fun. I'm a stamina player. I became, a after the whole weightlifting thing, I became a stamina player uh, for in the groove. And th there's uh, there's score whores and stamina players. And, and a score whore, is essentially, they're trying to get that 99%. They're trying to get a 100% accuracy on their steps, right? Which is what I used to do when I first started out, but I became a stamina player where I, where I would play like, you know, really long, fast songs that had you running the entire time. Like a five minute long song and it's just like, right, the whole time. And the goal of a stamina player in competitive is to wear out your opponent. And and the way scoring works, because, because stamina players started winning tournaments, because... You know, your opponent gets to pick a song, you get to pick a song, and whoever wins or loses gets to pick the next song, and, and so on. And basically, what, ha what happened was, in the old rule set, was um, you only had to outscore your opponent, and then you didn't have to finish the song. So what happened was, a stamina player would pick a long-ass song that the score player would not be able to finish, and they would run out of energy at, like, 40%. The stamina player would just have to... Play the song until 41% and then call it. Uh, so they changed the rules at tournaments where you had to finish the song. Alright. You had to finish the song. So I'm still stamina players could, you know, actually compete. Uh, but at the same time, then they started normalizing the scores. Uh, and that, that just killed it for stamina players entirely. So, like, the score player would get, like, a 99.9 .9 on a song... The, the stamina player would get like an 87 because he's not attuned to stepping on the notes at the exact moment. He's just built for lasting, long periods of time. Then the score player would get like a 30% on a stamina song and the stamina player would have to expend his entire energy base to get like a 70% on a long stamina song. And the score player would get to pick, you know, the, the next song and he would make another 99. And well, if, if, you, if you average the numbers, 299s and a 30 is better than like 380s or something. I forget. Or maybe not. I don't, I don't know the math on that. But essentially, stamina players just got killed off in the pro scene, sort of. Um, that and there was always this bitter rivalry, right? Like, like imagine some like East versus West Coast crap. Or imagine like uh, West Side Story or Romeo and Juliet, but without the love story. Okay, it's kind of like that with stamina players and score players. Uh, like, they hated each other. If they were in the same arcade, there was just this bitter rivalry. Sometimes there were fights. It was just like, come on, man. I was kind of in the middle of the road, but I sided with the stamina players because they were always the tough gangster ghetto kids, and the score players were always the rich, snobby butthole kids, okay? Uh, that's just the politest way I can I can put this. And uh, what is my healing at? It is at 53, so I could technically stop now, but this is flat, pure profit. Uh, there's no reason to stop. We're crafting this all the way. We're getting that up there, man. And I actually have a whole... I have way more Arcane Essence and Burdock in my stashes than I need to burn through, too. So I might as well just grab that and just keep, keep at it. I've got the... I've got the... Oh, no! The food is down to 9%. Eva Raider, 
Can I feed your bench? I hope I can feed your bench. All right, so I have to I have to stop recording here because my software is bugged out. I'm sorry, guys. I'll be right back. All right, so my recording software died. Um, uh, we're back though. This means I'll have to edit this, but that's fine. So this crafting bench is getting really low. It's at nine percent food supply. Can I feed you? You like omelets? That's e that's e cheap enough. Uh, is is it cheaper than just going to another bench? I don't know, man. But I don't know. Let's see if we can max this out. Hopefully we can. Um, I don't know if I should be feeding your dude pork omelets or not, but... Uh, yeah. Uh, so in the groove. It's a story. that Like, there's a whole life of dance gamer stuff. I, I guess I should have noticed my recording software would fail when it started lagging out. I hope, I hope the footage isn't lagged. I'm sorry if it is. That kind of ruins the video if it is, man. I, I don't know what causes it. Like, I have the top-of-the-line PC. Um, everything's new and fresh. Mm, I don't have anything running in the background. Hopefully. Unless Steam updated. Did Steam, did you just download a thing? Am I going to have to start turning you off? Uh, maybe it, it did. I think, I, uh, yeah, I think Steam was downloading something and it freaking lagged it out. Damn it, Steam, you butthole. Uh... And people are, are thinking about buying the handheld thing that they announced. Like, screw that, man. Like, that's so dumb. I don't think so, man. That ain't happening. I ain't doing it. Alright, I want to know how much money I made on these healing potions. <laughs> uh, Alright, what, what is your crafting capacity now? It was 9%, dude. And I brought it down to 7. Uh, pork omelets... I guess I can feed his bench, man, because, I mean, he deserves it. He's the, he's the one, he's a 60%, dude. Everyone else is, what, 69 and, oh, there's a 60, freaking Teo, Teo Deed. You're, you're down there at 60. Oh, did people be changing 69? Corn Daddy's at 60. Corn Daddy there's at 62. So I guess I won't feed it. I'm sorry, Eva Raider, um, for using up all your, your bench power, but, um, you, everyone's lowering their prices. They're competing against each other. You know, it's active. We checked it earlier. We checked it at the start of the video. Because I got a lot more crafting to do, man. And I'm sure everyone else does, too. And this is just the this, like third, fourth hour of the, of the fame week. I got to be grinding dungeons, man. I, mean, I got to be doing those group dungeon grinds. That's going to that's gonna take all my silver, too. That's fine. Okay, so how much money did we make? This is 14 million. <laughs> Uh, we can throw these back in there. That's fine. Uh, I just want to check my stock real quick and see how much more arcane essence I have, because I'm gonna I'm gonna come back and craft more, or I could focus craft it. Uh, yeah, I've got a I've got another stack. Just just like on reserve, just in case, I guess. Do I know? I know I have more, right? Don't I in here? Possibly. Oh no, that's just uh other. <laughs> I'm so loaded on potion materials, guys. I just have so much. All right, now we can start crafting all the crappy things. Uh, what is this? Gigantify potions. One, two, one, one, two. I think that's a good start. Uh, grab one, grab one. That's two, that's overweight. Split that. Put that back, split that, put that back. There we go. Alright, that should do it. Gigant Gigantify potions. I gotta make sure that I'm crafting the right freaking thing. So, let me just grab one so I can remind myself which pile we stole from. Uh, Gigantify, put one in my inventory so I know what I'm crafting. I know, I know my brain doesn't... We got to 57 on healing potions, 57 on bootlegger, 56 on, on invisibility. See, like I said, remember I was talking about OCD? If they don't line up, it's okay. I have trained myself to make sure things don't line up. And I know that sounds crazy. I know there's people in the comments that are just going wild. Like, yeah, they make them all 57, dude. Make them all 57 right now. Alright, we're going down to Toadied, who's at 85 food. You're at 72 food. What is this one at? 99 food. So Corn Daddy would be next. Um, go ahead and use up Toadied. By the way, if any of you guys in the... Any of you guys in, in the, uh, the cartel are watching, which I'm sure you guys have to watch, um, because anything that I hype up or talk about is like the next big market explosion uh that's just how it is right um you guys should give chads that's chads with an s not chad but chads y'all y'all should give us uh 
give us associate discount. There's over 2,300 of us, and I would, you know, I would shill you guys out more. I, I would advertise you guys on the channel, right? Like, we can work out a deal here, right? You get some advertisement space, I get discounts in a video game. It's all good, man. Alright, I got like three days. I know it's an it's like an eight day, nine day fame week, but I got three days until New World hits. Then I gotta make content for that. Like I gotta I gotta I gotta cream out content really hard. I, I would like to cream out more content for Albion too. I need to like make 14 more videos before I take a break uh, and play New World or the beta test. That way I have enough videos to run through the beta. But uh, yeah, we've uh, we've been burning through silver. And uh, we're, we're getting our potion leveling maxed out. That was really cool. You guys getting a long video today. I, mean, I, I know, it's just me running back and forth from my island in town and crafting. It's, it's not a lot to see, but... Hey, I mean, it's something for you to watch during, uh, during maintenance. It's something for you to watch while you eat some food. Something for you to watch while you grind in your dungeons or, or gather... Whatever it is you gather, maybe you're a fisherman. I don't know why you'd want to fish, but um, if that's what you enjoy doing, man. But I don't know. I don't see the joy in it. Ah, <laughs> uh, what am I gonna do with all these gigantify potions, guys? Um, and then I gotta craft sticky potions. Those things never sell. Those are the le lowest selling potions in the game. Potent. All right, and there we go. That's our first batch completed. Put us to level twenty six. How much are these potions worth? Um, they are 1.6 million. <laughs> the materials alone cost more than that. So we're, we're losing money on these crafts, and that's fine. Because uh, it's going to level us up. And I'm aware I could craft the tier 7 variant, which is what more people use. But um, when I did the math on that, it costs more. Even with the shortage of teasel, it still costs more. So I'm not doing that. And, uh, yeah, th this is this is the video. I'm aware someone pointed out I could type in the name of the island and, you know, not have to scroll down the list, but I ain't doing that. I'm lazy, okay, guys? I'm just lazy. So don't hate. Don't hate me because I'm lazy. I don't know why I put all that back. Um, split one, put that in the inventory, stack these up. Two, two, one. And then can I do half? Havesies? All right, that works. Two and a half Cs. <laughs> this is a freaking bear mount, man. If, if like players that don't have a bear mount, they'd have to be using an ox, not even a tier eight ox. They'd have to be, ma bleh, be making way more trips. So yeah, we're still going down to toad eat here. This guy's out of food. I mean, I could use, I could use up his food. But maybe maybe someone will fill it back up. There's no food reward on it, so I don't want to just like buy you know a hundred thousand worth of omelets to feed, and then some other dude runs up in a freaking what is it uh, a mammoth and just uses it all up. <laughs> so yeah, I think I'll 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 hit up these other benches and get some crafting done on them because they're the same price. So why wouldn't I, right? But Eva Raider was the OG one to do it first. This freaking brick wall here, what an annoyance. I have to go all the way around. Gigantify, let's continue. Yes, yes. Now, then we gotta go for sticky potions, then mana potions, and what else do we need to craft? Um, oh, resistance potions, those are those are handy. Those are good to have, especially in corrupted dungeons. If you can time it right. I can never really time it right, because I don't PvP much. Like, uh, I would like to, to be able to show you guys Slayer dungeons, but that's it. the whole thing with Corrupted Dungeons is when you go to Twitch, that's that's the only thing everyone's doing. You can scroll all the way down the Albion Online Twitch page and it's like 99% of the people are doing Corrupted Dungeons. It's boring. I don't like watching Corrupted Dungeon gameplay. I don't, I don't even enjoy playing Corrupted Dungeon gameplay. It's stressful, right? Like, say you have a build, um, like say you're a bow user and someone has triple purge. They're like black hands with mage robe and a purge helmet, which I forget the name. I think it's a demon helmet or something. Uh, or whatever. You, you get the point. Like you're just dead. You're just, it's game over. You can't fight that. You have to run, but you can't run because the other guy has better boots or there's monsters that slow you down or you didn't clear properly or, or maybe you went to go take a poop and then you come back and you're already getting punched in the face and it's too late and you just lose your stuff. 
because your bowels were calling, right? At least in a solo dungeon, I can go take a crap and not be dead. I mean, have, I've had these rants before. I hate to repeat myself, but man, this is how it is. All right. Oh, these Gigantify potions. Man, I could just walk around swole all day, like, forever at this point. Gigantify potions for life. And yeah, all these poor materials being turned into potions, I know, without focus. It's sad to see, but it's Fame Week. We gotta make the most of it. We're not gonna, we're not, gonna not take advantage of Fame Week. All right, Fame Week is, is epic. <laughs> And I know some people are like, why don't you, you have the money, why don't you push all your potions to 100? And I answered that in a previous video, and the reason is, is that I don't have enough islands to make use of the focus being that low. I just don't, and I don't have the patience for more islands. Yes, I can make more premium accounts and have more islands, but islands already take like 30 minutes a day of work. And I, I don't want to do more than that, okay? That's the most I'm willing to do <laughs> every day, forever. Oh, uh, well, as long as I have premium running, that is. Put these back. Stack them up. Pull one out, because I don't want to forget. Double, double. Toil and trouble. Grab an eggies. Grab a halvesies. That wasn't a halvesies. That's a halvesies. Okay. And yeah, uh, back at it again with the crafting. Someone someone in the Alliance chat is talking about how the markets are crashing or something. Uh, usually it's the opposite. Like on Fame Week, raw materials go way the heck up in price because everyone's buying them out to craft. Uh, whereas crafting items like potion sellers, you know, weapon sellers, all that goes way down because everyone's competing with each other, which you don't want to you don't want to sell for like the first two months after Fame Week. Like I'm holding on to all these potions and I'm just going to sit on them for months. I have the patience, I have the, the bankroll to do so. If I get desperate, like say I ran out of money for whatever reason, yeah, I could sell some of it at a discount and have some money, right? But uh, I can just wait for the the fame or the, the prices to normalize, assuming the game doesn't like die and the population drops. Uh, <laughs> and, and, you know, that, that'll allow me to, to quote unquote make it. Make it worthwhile. Oh, I'm pretty sure our pork pie ran out, so I could, um, I could be using more. Actually, I think our pork pie ran out a while ago. Oh, well. Um, I think one more trip for Gigantify Potions and we're done with that. Again, I'm sorry this is not an entertaining video. I'm not blowing things up. I'm not going off the rails with crazy rants. I guess I'm a little less crazy when I wake up, huh? Um... <laughs> But yeah, you guys, uh, you guys need some potions? They're crafted by Soul Benji. I don't want to click this because it'll cancel my crafting, but it should say crafted by Soul Benji on the tooltip. You know, like a little souvenir potion for you. Uh, you know, you just keep in your chest, you know, as a, as a, as a reminder of a YouTuber, I guess. Like a, a memento, I suppose. I don't know, man. You leave the potion on the shelf too long, it'll go, it'll get spoiled and start growing mold. You know, take a life of its own. No, um, potions, don't, luckily, they don't decay, but imagine someone makes an MMORPG where food items and drinks and potions have an expiration date. Like, imagine, like, these goose eggs. You can't just put them in your chest for a million frickin' years and then craft them later. Like, they have a shelf date, a sell-by date. That would be crazy for the economy. Like, uh, like, say you buy a thousand goose eggs and then you, oops, I quit for a month and you come back and they're all rotten. <laughs> Uh, they're like beluga eggs or whatever. Ugh, I will never eat one of those, dude. I can't, I don't know how people around here eat beluga eggs. It's so nasty. It's so gross. They're like, for those who don't know, it's like a rotten egg. It's a fermented egg that's like black and it smells awful when you like open it up. It's terrible. Absolutely disgusting. Uh, but it's a delicacy that people seem to enjoy. Same thing with like durian fruits, um, insects. You know, I'll never eat the bugs. <laughs> oh man, okay, so we're going back to the island, and uh, I wish you could sell or trade the, the, the cell phone mount skin. I, I have yet to borrow someone's phone to like play the game on to get the skin. I don't really care about skins. Okay, so we're going to eat the pork pie here so I can maybe do this in one go. 
Did, did I not put enough burdock in here, or did I buy too much teasel? I don't know, but it's, it's a little sus. A little sus among us. Okay, so that puts me at 106 with the pork pie, so we're good. We're just gonna use... Okay, Gigantify Potion, I need to remember that. I think I, I think I can I can manage it. They were making Gigantify Potions. Alright. You haven't raised your price, have you, Toadied? Okay, cool. Very nice. What's your crafting at? 72? I think I used a lot of this bench's food up because I was doing invisibility potions. And, you know, that grows through the food quickly, whereas this is just a tier 5 potion. Not so much. Then I did do the enchanted ones over here, so that probably ate up the food supply more. Uh, it's, I guess the alchemists, you know, like, <laughs> that's how they cope. They stress eat. Yo, this guy wants to craft thousands of potions. I better eat, like, 30 Big Macs to make up for all the work I'm doing. But he's like a little old man. Like, an old man's hungry. He likes his omelets. Okay, Gigantify potions. See, this one didn't cost too much. It only cost like 300,000 to get to 50-something. Not too bad. But yeah, for those that um, watched my old video, you'll you'll notice that um, when I did the math on like uh, leveling up stuff, like 1 to 50 was one-third the cost of 50 to 100, right? Like 80 or 90 to 100 is like double the cost of 1 to 50. So to me, it's not worth, you know, the little... Uh, focus buff of crafting poisons because that's all I really craft is, po is poisons. I don't really craft any. I don't focus craft anything else. So I don't really have a reason to get it to 100. Maybe one day I will, but uh, for now it's just I'm a, I'm a poison maker, right? And YouTube doesn't like that I say that. Like, oh, here's how you craft poison potions. Like the the words craft poison potion got a video flagged um, for no monetization because they they didn't realize it was talking about a video game, right? Because the, the way YouTube videos and the algorithm works, for those that don't know, it listens to what you're saying and it reads the text on the screen, okay? Um, you'll, you'll notice like in a Mr. Beast video, when it begins, like the very start of a Mr. Beast video, he will almost always say the title of the video in the very opening liner and there will be text on the screen, very big and bold, for the algorithm to read. So the algorithm hears him say the title, the video is saying the title through text on the screen and the algorithm is like okay so this video is about this subject and it boosts it to the top and uh sadly my videos don't really follow that exact route because i don't care enough um uh, you know i always open the video with swole binge here uh because that's my catchphrase and if i don't do it people get mad but what i should be doing is like uh, opening with the words like, I've been online grinding episode 8! Uh, I, I don't remember what episode 8 is, uh, because at the time of filming, I have not published it yet. So, yeah, uh, I only have episodes 1 and 2 published as of the time of filming this. That's how, that's how far back I film things, guys. I mean, obviously today is July 17th, and you're watching this probably two weeks later. <laughs> I know, I know, that's, that's just my workflow, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that's how things have to be, but, you know, I try to work in advance so that I can not stress out, I guess. Um, what level did we get at? Because I feel like I had too much Burdock. We got it to 56. Good enough. I don't need to level it any more than that. It's fine. I can throw these ingredients into the Sticky Potion and the Resistance Potion sections. How much are you worth, big boy? Two million? Alright, cool. Very nice. Not that anyone will buy Tier 5 Gigantifies anytime soon. Maybe they will to study it or something. Like, that's an another thing, too. If I wanted to, if I truly wanted to, I could take all these potions I've crafted and then study them for a little bit more fame than what I earned. It'd probably boost it to 60 to 70. I'm going in the wrong house. But I would lose all of that money. Like, all that money would be gone. Okay. There we go. Put that in there. And then let's find the next one. We can yoink that out. And, yeah, we can just throw these in here. Nope, not there. That doesn't go there. Dragon teeth. Yeah, goose eggs. Go in there. That is sticky potions. Okay, so let's go. That's done. Sort that so it's all nice. Sort this so it's all nice. And what else we got? This is resistance potions. Let's go. So, one, two, one, two, one. Okay, we'll do one, and then one. And then we'll do halvesies on the milk. 
I think that's good. And we'll throw that in our inventory, inventory so we know what we're crafting. And away we go. Back at it again, boys. This time, resistance potions. One of the more useful tier 5 potions, in my opinion. Not enough for PvE, though. Not really. Like, maybe for a tank or something. I don't know. But why wouldn't you just heal instead? <laughs> or use Gigantify, which is basically 50% damage reduction, you know, for the duration, essentially. Whereas re resistance potions, it it's, it's a little calculated a little differently. What is this one? 20%? 41%. Okay, yeah, that's that's pretty dang good. That is very good. Huge damage resist. I think it's like 80 when you do the math. I'm not entirely sure. I'd have to play around with it. I don't really, you know, do much math on defense. I'm usually an offense guy. Resistance potion. Let's go. Let's get those crafting. And look at that progress bar. Isn't it beautiful, lads? Just slowly chugging along. Ooh. I did not do any morning stretches or morning exercises. I just went straight into the game, and so my muscles are all, all uh, not warmed up. It's hard to move a nice, swole, chad body. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. My voice is disappearing, though. Hold on. But yeah, that's uh, that's like one thing I miss about being like like skinnier, lankier, uh, is like the bulkier you get, like you just feel everything is slower. You sleep longer. You uh, like most of your energy is taken by you know like your muscles. Your muscles like drain you throughout the day. Uh, whereas if you you don't have muscles, you're just like a skinny little skeleton nerd. The energy that you're burning is like non-existent, so you can. Stay up and play video games longer. Yay! <laughs> the uh, the gamer the gamer physique should be that of a marathon runner, right? Like a little ninety pound marathon runner. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, that would make everything else in your life suffer. So I don't recommend it. I would never recommend that to you guys. Uh, you definitely want to hit one hundred and eighty pounds and ten percent body fat. Now, ten percent body fat is really hard to maintain. I'm gonna be real with you; like, it's suffering to maintain that amount of body body fat. Fifteen percent body fat is better, but like, get down to like 170, maybe 165, 160 for that, depending on your height. Those calculators out there. I'm not gonna go over a whole fitness spiel in this video. That's not what this video is about. This video is just a just a a memory that I'm creating for myself and for you to enjoy. Of me leveling, massive power leveling alchemy. <laughs> uh, which, I mean, the alchemy's been 100, but this is, uh, you know, poison or potion mastery, freaking potion specialization, power leveling. Maybe that's the title of the video. Power leveling uh, uh, potion brewing or something. It is fame week. We, we can have a whole week's worth of videos about power leveling and. Getting fame, you know, numbers and uh, stuff like that. Uh, what are we doing? Yeah, we're going back to the to the island, of course. Imagine having to travel an entire boat ride just to grab materials. Like, invent trains already. Where are we at? Resistance potions, that's right. That's where we're at. We are resistance potion crafting at the moment. Get Get three. Just get three. Get one. I think that works, right? Three, three to one, something like that. And uh, back out we go for more resistance potion crafting. And yeah, this is this is time consuming. I think we've been at this an hour, an hour now. I'm not sure. My my software bugged out, so I don't have a proper time. I think that was 44 minutes plus 24. Yeah, we've been we've been crafting an hour, lads. Oh, did you? Don't you dare raise or lower those prices, bro. You better keep it at 60. Alright. What are people saying in the chat? I have my brightness up so high, it's really hard for me to read the chat. For you guys, it looks normal. Okay, for you guys, you can see how the chat looks regularly. But for me, it's very bright uh, so that I can see the game. Because I'm very, I'm a very blind gamer. Alright, my ears don't work too good. I'm, I'm very blind... Uh, yeah, just <laughs> Disability Gamers Unite. 
I don't have a disability. I mean, maybe I do if I get checked, but oh, I'm sure I, I, if I get checked, they're going to put down every freaking thing in the book. Let's see. Asperger's autism, uh, crazy lunatic mania. Uh, what, what else we got? Schizoid. <laughs> take your meds. Bro, I'm not taking meds. I'm straight edge. I don't even take, like, aspirins or um, ibuprofens or whatever unless I'm, like, dying of a headache, which it could usually just drink water, maybe caffeine or something. Get rid of that stuff. Guys, are you enjoying yourselves watching me spend millions and millions and millions of silver crafting potions? Are you? Um, it has to be done. This is character progression. This is what it looks like. Months of preparation, like half a years of preparation, all into one little video. You gotta wait for that fame week. You know what would be really mad? Or maddening, rather, is if after fame week they announce, like, one day only, 50% fame day. And I would be like, I could have waited for fame day. Uh. <laughs> uh. Or what if, here's another thing, they made Avalonian dungeons or world bosses or whatever in-game guilds or grind they want to put out there that also gave a fame buff to everything you did. Not just, not just combat fame, but crafting fame. Because then people would be like, dude, you wasted all those materials. You could have went and did an Avalonian raid and got a 10% boost. And I would be like, well, I don't have access to Avalonian raids. I know... Hold on. Guys, it's it's hard to talk as soon as I wake up. But um, I know a lot of people think that because I have 32-something thousand subscribers, that I have a Discord with thousands of members, that I just magically have this giant mass of people to play with that I that I have an alliance with literally 3,000 or 2,300 yeah 2,300 members that I just have people to play with I don't I don't have people to play with all the time I will use an account that isn't muted and ask my alliance if anyone wants to do group dungeons you know with certain IP limits or I will ask my discord who wants to do group dungeons and all the people that have already famed up their sets don't want to do them uh, you know, it, it, there's, like, no one to play with. Uh, I made the whole, I made the YouTube channel to have friends and people to play with, and it's, so far it's not working. <laughs> Why do I keep making YouTube videos? I don't know. Maybe I still have hope. Maybe I, I, uh, I'm, I'm insane and I don't know when to quit. But, basically, I don't have people to play with. You can join the Discord, and if you're based in Red Pill, I'll play with you. Great. Um, chances are you're probably not. I mean, a lot of my audience doesn't even know what that means, which is really upsetting. I mean, what am I supposed to do? You know, like... Oh, wait, I need to split that so I can see what I'm crafting. Can I yoink that? Can I yoink all of that? Maybe some of this? Nope. Too much on that. Split it twice, send that back. Split it again, send that back. Split it again, send that back. Split it again, send that back. There we go. Now we're in the in the yellow weight class. Maybe I'm bringing too much milk, milkers. But yeah, I, I don't I don't have like people to play with. It, it sucks. It, it's upsetting. I mean, I have for weeks. I have tried posting in, in my very own Discord. Hey, who wants to do group dungeons? You know, post your IP, post your specs, post your set, post how long you can. Uh, you can play for, and people can maybe play for an hour. Like, what's the point if you can only play for one hour? And people don't want to tank. There are no tanks. People don't want to heal. There's a few healers, but people generally don't want to heal. And all the DPS are, like, under 6.2. Like, I don't want to take a 6.2 DPS. I also don't want to take a, a non-crossbow DPS. I'm sorry. Like, I can just solo the group dungeon. I have no reason, no reason not to solo it at that point. Uh, because I'm not just gonna carry people. I worked hard. I don't wanna. I don't wanna carry people. Yeah, if they're like based in red pilled people, absolutely. If you are based in red pilled, uh, and and you join the Discord and you have flat four, I don't. I don't care. I'll carry your butt. But like these are people that haven't hit Chad rank. These are people that uh, don't even understand the lingo or anything. And I mean, to me, they're just strangers, right? They're they're just kind of they're just hoping for a free ride or something. And and they're not. And, and a lot of times, like, I get so, like, the Discord is being, it's just under constant attack, you know, by the Redditors, by scammers, by people, like, there will be people that come in and they're like, hey, want to buy my 8.3, uh, a good quality bow? And people will be like, yeah, how much? And then they will, like, 
Their, the price they set will be like 200,000 silver over the regular market price. I can go to Bridgewatch Market, pull up the weapon, and it's 200,000 cheaper. And so they're just trying to rip off members in a Discord. You know, they're just preying on newbies, essentially. I'm not saying that the Discord is bad. I'm just saying that a lot of people just try to use it in that regard. They don't, they don't come in there to be my friend or to play with me. They just come in there to try to make a quick flip profit. And, uh... That's you. You, sh you should really spend your time, you know, doing something else better, like I don't know, grinding your character, farming, gathering, doing dungeons. You know, anything else would make you more silver in the time that you're wasting trying to rip off your fellow Chad gamers. Okay, it's just I don't know, man. Like, try to build a community, and this game it just ain't happening. I think if I played any other game, that I would have a a much more robust and more red-pilled, more mature community, but. Uh, you know, I have like 2,000 people and only like 10 people chat a day. It's like, what? Are they all spies? Why do people join my Discord and never say a word? Like, I don't post guides in there anymore because of that. People would just come and freeload guides. Um, because they're too lazy to either watch the video or listen to the video. Like, ever since that I stopped posting picture and, and text-based guides, my views and my view retention rate and all that stuff have went way up. So I have no reason to ever do that anymore. Like, like when I started the internet, okay, I wrote text-based guides and eventually upgraded to video-based guides. Years and years and years ago, like way before YouTube existed, before Google Video existed, I made this kind of content. 52. All right, we're almost there. And, uh, like, nah, like I just realized it because people, like, there have been people, like, like I used to post text-based guides on Reddit for, like, World of Warcraft and even Albion before all the bans. And what happened was, uh, people would just take the whole post and they would put it on their little blog website that gets like hundreds of thousands of views. And then they would take my name off of the guide. <laughs> they they would basically plagiarize it, right? And yeah, I know there's things I can do, but these are all like weird websites, you know, that are hosted on some who knows what server. So there's really not a lot that you can do. Um, and it's just a pain in the butt. And you know, the time you spend getting it taken down could be better spent elsewhere. So, I don't know what to say. Alright, so this is the final crafting for Resistance Potion. We're almost done. We got Mana Potions, we got Sticky Potions, and I, th I think that's it? Mana Potions and Sticky Potions, right? Uh, yeah, there's Mana, and there's Sticky Potions. So yeah, we're almost done. We are nearly complete, guys. Uh, <laughs> it's been a, it's been quite a journey. No one's no one's fed poor Eva Raider over there. Sadly. Yeah, this is this is quite a long one. I mean, at this rate, I'm like, what? I could have already made a new character and got it to tier six. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, you can see it, it's quite the effort. Fame week. Fame week, lads. I keep doing that where I go in the wrong way. All right. Resistance potion. That's where we're crafting. Yep, I have it in my inventory. I didn't forget. Oh, boy. It's going to be really cool uh, to see how much focus it costs. It was, I think, 28 focus to craft a poison potion. Or, or 50. I forget how much it was. I think I'm, I'm trying to hit 28, actually. So yeah, if I if I basically cut my focus cost in half, then it's completely worth it. Absolutely worth it for minor poisons. And later on, of course, way later on, if I continue to play this game, uh, may, uh, the tier 8 poison potions is the goal. But I'm going to need like 9 freaking premiums active month after month to maintain that. And I don't know if I want to go through that. That is a huge grind. You need to, You need to have cows, you need to have a whole lot of stuff. And a way to source out the Arcane Essence, which is really hard, because every time I try to farm Arcane Essence, it's always massively controlled, even during off hours. It's just, it's been mafiaed, you know? <laughs> like uh, like in World of Warcraft, the, uh, what is it, the Devil Sar Mafia? Just a group of players controlling one zone, because that's the only place you can farm the materials in. Alright, where do we end up Resistance Brewer? We end up at 56. Which is weird because healing's at 57 and bootlegger's at 57, but everything else is 56. Kind of funny how that works, but whatever. I, I don't understand it. We've got plenty of leftover materials. 
Resistance potions for years, man. We could do, we're never gonna get sick. We'll we'll be very resistant. Now that's not what resistance potions do. I'm just trying to be funny, and it didn't. It fell flat. I know. I'm sorry. What's up next? Are we doing sticky potions now? I wish sticky po sticky. I w I wish sticky potions had more utility. All they do is slow you down, slow the enemy down. Well, I mean, they slow you down while you throw them, obviously. But uh, where is there? It is. Throw that in there. And... Yeah, let's do mana. We'll do mana. There we go. <laughs> I actually did that perfectly. Alright, cool. Um... Yeah, we'll do just mana potions. We're not using arcane essences. Um, that'd be a waste. That's... I only did Arcane Essences on the healing potions because that made them profitable, okay? Uh, everything else I'm crafting at a minor loss because I'm not focus crafting. And you can't, you won't have enough focus to obviously, you know, level all this stuff up during Fame Week. And I've done the math, um, Fame Week makes it more worth doing and I'm also impatient. I just want to get it all done in one video. <laughs> one long video. Uh, you guys like the long ones. Everyone always says, oh, I like the long ones, but maybe they're like the... The minority, the, the vocal minority, and people actually prefer the short ones who choose not to say anything. I don't know. I, I have to base off, you know, things that I make based on the comments. Energy potion, let's go. All right. Man, we have spent, what, like four to five million today? We're at like 21, I think. Ugh. 16.9. <laughs> energy potions. These are things that really almost never get used. I mean, they do sell. I don't know who's using energy potions and for what. Maybe it's like Hardcore Expedition peoples. They're checking these things. I don't really know. But to me, if your build re relies on or has an energy problem, it's a bad build. Like, if you're dungeon farming and you're running out of mana, then your build sucks. Like, fix it. Like, do something. There's helmets that fix your mana. There's capes. Uh, even with a chocolate bar, maybe, like... You, you gotta, you gotta optimize your builds, bro. You gotta figure out the fastest way to, to get stuff done. That's just how it is. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna be over my calculations. Like, I was trying to hit a little 50 and everything, and because of fame week, it's like 56, 57. So it's just bonus. Bonus, yeah. Like, uh, what, five different categories times seven? Like, 35 additional levels. Almost another, basically an extra 50, if you, if you want to think of it like that. If I get real greedy, I could just level it all to 100, but man, that's a huge money sink. That's like four times the amount that I paid for this, and this is already sinking like 40-something million, or more than that, really, um, into this. So, yeah, this is a big boy spending for me. We don't want to hoard the silver. We want to we wanna make sure our character is great. And yeah, even though this character is perma-muted, and it's mostly just a crafting alt and a YouTube video alt at this point, like, that's all I really play the Soul Benji character for. I'll do some PvP on it. Because it's got the high specs, um, but essentially it's just it's just a crafting alt. It's just a it's just there to to make the videos. Because um, if I play like okay, when I, you you guys have seen it, you, if you've seen me around, you've seen what happens. If I go anywhere on this character, it there's so much attention that gets grabbed. Like I can join a ZVZ and ride around, and people will just follow me. Or just riding to a dungeon. People will invade the dungeon, which is fine. You know, that, that's part of the game. You know, they invade the dungeon like, oh, I love your videos, which is fine. I, I appreciate it. Lad. That's why I make them. But on my alt characters, I don't have that issue. Like, people, like, I can fly under the radar. I'm, I'm in stealth mode. Like, like, the guy with a generic normie name, that could be me. That could be me in disguise. Right? And I'm not talking about my other crafting alts like, you know, Tommy Licker and Belly Sniffer and stuff like that. Okay, guys? I'm talking about just a generic named character that I haven't shown on the channel, because why would I? Um, you know, that way, if SBI decides, oh, this guy's bad for a game, and they ban me for, like, random reason like that, then at least that those characters will be spared, you know? <laughs> Which, um, I mean, if, if they ban me, it's their loss at this point. I, I've tried, guys, I have tried so hard to reach out to SBI, uh, just to talk, just to chat, man. Just to, just to have a little discussion, and they they don't want to talk to me. No no one does. Not even ex-employees. People that used to work for the company that have quit or gotten fired, even they won't talk to me. I've, like, reached out to them, and nothing. It's just, 
It's just sad, man. Like, but it's not just SBI. It's other game companies. Like, uh, other game companies, they don't want nothing to do with me either. I don't. I don't really get it. It's weird. Uh, I reach out to them to you know beta test their games. I show my my gamer experience. And uh, yeah, they just uh, they just don't want nothing to do with me. I don't. I don't get it. Let's see if I can. Yeah, there we go. Close enough. One twenty nine. So, so yeah, it's like I, I, I go to like 20 different games and I show that I get 1 million views a month, which is huge. That's like, guys, you, you may not realize that, but 1 million views a month is like 600,000 subscriber level channel, like, like content, right? Like co channels with 300 to 600,000 subscribers get that many views a month. And I only have, what, 30, like 32,000 subscribers? So I'm, I, I get way more views than I get subscribers, big time. Like, people just don't bother clicking the sub button because, well, my vids show up in their freaking feed. Um, <laughs> this guy's name is YouTuber, by the way. <laughs> uh, that'd be kind of funny channel name, but... I don't know, what I think it happens is they're, they're community managers. They Google my, my YouTube name, and the first thing they see is a Reddit post saying I'm mental. Which is just a, a shit post, it's just a troll post. That they made, you know, to try to... Because cause I was doing the same thing to their guilds. Like, every single time, every day on Reddit, I would, like, reply to 20 threads uh, with guild recruitment ads, and I would call their guilds crap. Uh, and, and the reason I called them crap is because I would join their Discord and read their rules, and, and it was all the same shit. It was all the same, bend the knee, you can't do this, you can't do that, be our wage slave, be a worker bee, make us rich, kind of crap, right? Um, and that's why I talk crap to them, because if they were a legit good guild, you know, I wouldn't talk crap. And there was a few, like, there was, like, there was one guild that I joined, and I, I questioned them on some things. And, uh, you know, they weren't what they said they were, of course not. You know, they were advertising themselves as the super edgy, you know, 4chan guild, um, where you could say and do anything you want. And I went in there, and it wasn't the case. Like, what the heck, dude? False advertising. So I, you know, I was like, whatever, see you later. Um... And then, you know, of course, like, a month later, they tried to screen cap a bunch of stuff that I asked and, and things like that, and it's like, bro, you're you're literally, you're like a fake one. It, it's like a honeypot, but with trolling, <laughs> I guess. Like, oh, we're a 4chan guild, you can say and do whatever you want, and then you go in there and you ask them about it just to see if they're real or not, and, um, and they're actually, like, the complete opposite, you know? Uh, they're just trying to get people uh, to join... To you know, put them to work. It's like they had this um, this um, desire to try to find four chainers to do all the farming for them instead of actually be their friend. Like, why would you do that? I wouldn't open a guild and say, "All right, I want everyone who's uh, you know Reddit bros. I want all the Reddit bros in this guild. Yeah, yeah." And then it's actually just a bunch of four chainers looking to torture them. Like, come on, man. People that do that kind of crap is just cringe. Like, uh, you see those threads on Robot9000 a lot, where it's like, join our Discord, and, you know, you can make friends, but it's just, it's just a small bully group of people that just want to talk shit and, and make people feel bad. Like, look, look, I'm all for video game trolling, where you play the video game and you troll people using the video game, but I'm not for the trolling of going after someone's real life or any of that kind of crap, right? Like... If you just try to make their real life crap, like, everyone's real life is usually already crap. Unless there's some sort of office normie, in which case, even then, like, you know, just troll them in the video game. And, you know, they have a limited amount of time every day to play a video game. And if you can make them suffer in the video game via the video game, there you go. It's it's all good. It's all Gucci. Because they have all the power to fight back. They can use their office wagey, you know, money to RMT good gear and, and gold in whatever game you're playing. And then they can you know, come at you with a superior gear set if they want to, if they want to try to counter troll. They could hire people off Fiverr to play with them and, uh, you know, have a small personal army to, to fight you off, but... Bro, you're a wagey. You gotta go to work in the morning, you know? You gotta be up early, you gotta take a shower, get dressed for boss man, and go to work. But me, I can log in at 4 a.m. and blow up your base. So, ha, huh, hee hee. You know? <laughs> like, the wagies cannot win against the neat lives. The freedom gamers, the gamers that aren't tied down. And uh, how many more energy potions are we crafting here? Let's see, uh, that's heals. Give me the energy, so yeah, there we go. Can can I do it? Do I have enough carrying capacity? I do. Very cool. 
And we're doing energy potions. I, I can remember that. This is the final crafting sesh. You just milk milk. You just mix burdock and goat's milk. Yummy, yummy goat's milk. Okay, goat's milk isn't that yummy. It's okay. I've had goat's milk before. You know, goats, they're not they're not horrible creatures, you know? Lamb meat's good, you know, goat, goat meat, goat cheese is good. I'll, I'll say goat cheese is pretty darn good. Like, I, I like most foods, guys. Uh, <laughs> food, food is always good, um, though I try to eat healthy, you know, I can't eat junk food all the time. I will eat a cheat day, I, I think I got a cheat day coming up, I'm gonna have pancakes. I'm waiting on the day, just counting days. Energy potions, let's go, yeah, man. And, uh... You know, with actual real maple syrup imported from Canada. <laughs> Heck yeah. Oh man, but it's so expensive. Like, you would think pancakes are just made from, like, flour and sugar and crap, right? But no, man. It's the syrup that gets you. The syrup is the big money sink. But yeah, anyone else? Uh, any any dieters? Any healthy eaters in the chat, boys? Any? Uh, leave a comment, you know, if you're a healthy eater, you know. I try to eat below 1,850 calories when cutting, uh, when bulking, 2,300 usually. Sometimes I go up to 3,000 if I'm if I'm like way underweight, or if I feel really weak. Like like if I if I can't increase my lifts at the gym, like if I if I stalemate for like two weeks, I I will just start eating massive amounts of food, and then the next day I'll just feel freaking glorious. Like my muscles are nice and filled up, and I'll just go in there and just freaking beast it, dude. And it feels great. I, I'll gain weight and I'll gain some fat. But at least I increased my lifts, you know? Like, I don't know. It's kind of cringe to talk about weightlifting on a gamer channel. But, yeah, dude. Oh, man. Okay. What else can we talk about? Because we, we still gotta craft sticky potions, which... You know, I was actually doing the math. I'm like, sticky potions suck so much and they'll never sell. Should I just skip sticky potions entirely? And I was like, nah, I think I'm gonna do them anyway. Because it'll help all the other potions out. That's the whole point. Is if I want to focus craft any other potion now, I... I got a pretty good rate on it. Pretty pretty decent rate. Like, I guess we can check and see um, after we're done with the energy potion here how much focus it would cost to craft. Even though it's not something I would ever actually focus craft. And screw raising goats. Because you gotta feed them. And if, if all you grow is herbs and you have goats, you gotta feed herbs to the goats. Unless you buy carrots. In which case, you're not getting much of a better deal than just growing them yourself. So, yeah. You think this will put us at 56 or 57 or, or 55 or whatever? What, what do you think, guys? I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Why do I talk as if this is a live stream? It's not a live stream. I mean, if it was a live stream, I would have already like it would have already been screwed up because the software crashed. I think I've had some lag moments too. Okay, energy potion. How much would I focus crafty for? 151. That's still too high. Way too high. <laughs> Uh, like, like for, for reference right now, Minor Poison is costing me 29, and I, I only need to get it to 28, uh, to be efficient, so. The Sticky Potions, you know, leveling that to 50, that's gonna push us below 28. And we'll be, and we're, we're finished! We're done! It, it, it feels good to have this finally completed, guys. I, like, I've been waiting for a Fame Week for so long. They, they haven't been doing them, they were supposed to do, they were gonna do one, like, in April. Uh, during Easter, or whatever, and they didn't because Stillfront was like, no, no Fame Week, bad, Fame Week, bad, <laughs> for whatever reason. You know, business buys out game, makes game worse, that's the the case, that's always the freaking case. Like, if, if you love a game and they get bought out, it's just the saddest thing, man. 8.9 million, very nice, made a profit on that. The healing potion's 14 million. Uh, these only 7 million, so we lost money on that one. Uh, this is 4.9 million, so we lost lost a lot of money on that one. But that's fine, because it's at crafting materials, whatever. 10 million on this one! I don't remember what it was at. 9 mi Oh, we actually made, well, technically we, we didn't, because these are... Give me those. 9 million on that. Sticky Potions, the final frontier. Alright, 8.68 million. So, one, two, one, one, two. That puts us at 104. We'll do a halvesies on those. And a little bit. No, it's too many eggs. Take them back. All right. Oh, 
I need to I need to grab a sticky potion because I don't remember. I won't remember. There we go. We're making sticky potions now. Let's look at our beautiful board here. Sticky potions are the final the final one. And we we got what energy to fifty seven. Is it the same amount? Ten seven six seven. Nah, Hill, Hill Brewer was a little higher. Funny how that works. Resistance was higher than Gigantify. And Invisibility and Bootlegger. Yeah, no, nothing's lining up. And that's fine, like I said, Chaotic OCD. It has, to, it has to not line up. If it did, it would bug me. I know, it's like opposite of what most people suffer from, right? How is it, how's our crafting bench doing, Toadied? is down to 40% food. Man, I, I think I've been the only one crafting there this morning, too. Uh, I drained this guy. Yeah, oh, it's down to 6% now. It was 7. Alright, let's check prices. 60, 60, 69, 62, 71, 69, and 60. So you're still at 60, so we're still going with you, man. We have blown a lot of silver on these dang crafting benches. Evil Reader got the most of it with the bootlegger, so he he's the one that made the most profit. Um... And he was the original OG to be at 60, but then Toadied was like, Yo, I want that business too, bro. Uh, maybe they are the cartel or something. I don't know. I don't know how the cartel decides their prices. I'm not the cartel. Uh, we're doing Sticky Potion. Sticky Potion, let's go. Potent Sticky Potion. Yeah, Sticky Potion, it makes people run slower in a very small circle. If it was a big circle, it would be freaking worth it, but it's not. Um... And also, it lowers, I think, attack speed and damage, I think. Uh, I don't want to click it. Well, fuck it, let's click it. Uh, let's see, it slows and decreases damage. So it does not slow your attack speed. It lasts five seconds after they leave the puddle. But the puddle is small, guys. It's like a little tiny circle. Uh, so you can, like, maybe cut off a choke point. I've seen it used in a Sharkisha video where he, he sticky potioned a choke point that everyone chased him on, and then he activated... Um, the Avalonian crossbow, the energy sh energy shaper, and he just like mowed people down, epic style. Uh, so he got a good sticky potion out of that, which is really funny. Uh, but other than that, you know, it just slows people by not even that much. Lowers their damage by not that much. Like, I don't see the point in using that potion over anything else. It's literally the worst potion in the game. If it was a really big circle, like imagine if it was as big as this mount circle. People would use it. People would be throwing these everywhere just to pollute the world and stuff, you know? If it slowed for more, if it did something else, maybe let you run faster. Like, imagine if you could throw a sticky potion and it gave you a speed boost. That wouldn't make sense, but it would be kind of cool, right? Like, a speed potion, something that increases your attack speed or increases your run speed would be amazing. It might not be balanced. I don't, I don't think it would be that balanced, but it would be so cool to have. All right, um, I have been talking for almost two hours now, and um, yeah, we're, we're nearly complete, guys. Uh, population is at 439. It started at 420 this morning, and uh, ah, man, this, this is a long video. This is going to take forever to edit. <laughs> it's going to take... Well, okay, you know, I, I, am, I am rather thankful, okay? On my old PC when I did WoW content, a 15-minute long video took... 16, 8 to 16 hours to render, depending on how complex it was, right? It took an extremely long amount of time to render. A 15 minute video now takes me 3 minutes to render. <laughs> uh, there's it's such a huge difference, man. My old PC just could not render quickly, but this one is... It, it's, just a, it's just amazing. Alright, give me one. Stack them up. One, two, one, two, one, one, one. Oh, that's too much. Break them down. Oh, did my pork, my pork pie ran out. That's what it is. That's why it's too much. All right, we got to eat another pork pie, lads. Yummy. It in my tummy. And boop and boop. I put that at 117, 125, 133. Uh, let's let's do a triple D stack. Maybe another one. There we go. Okay. Stack them back up. I mean, we got a good amount. Sticky potions back on route once again. Getting this done, donezo. 
Also, we can save just a little bit of focus on our main craft. You gotta appreciate the, the work, man. Fame week. Man, we gotta start doing group dungeon grinds. That's gonna take all my silver. And, like, look, look at my fame credits. It's like 9.1 million. I, I have nothing to spend this on. I have been trying to figure out what to spec up next. I was like, maybe Glacial. Glacier Staff, because it's getting huge buffed in the next patch. It's getting a big buff. But even then, with, with full max spec and masterpiece, I couldn't. I, I just didn't see it worth it. I, I, I didn't see it to be worth maxing out, which is sad, right? Because at maximum spec, with full masterpiece, with the patch that buffs it, I would hit players on a point in a yellow zone for 300 to maybe 450 if they're in cloth. 450 every half a second sounds pretty darn good for something that just scoots across the capture point. But, uh, it's not that good, man. Even, like, that's fully damage buff with the royal helmet, the royal shoes, the druid, druid robe fully stacked up, and the damage buff passive active. It's, it's not enough damage. It should be more damage for maximal spec and full masterpiece 8.3, and it's not. So... Why would I why would I max it out? I did the math, I did the testing, it's not worth using. Yeah, in a, in a real ZBZ, you won't be using 8.3, obviously, and uh, the, the utility is that it slows players down. So you combine... Ooh, hey, I just thought of an idea. Maybe it is worth doing. Think of, think of this, lads. You know those builds where you suicide by running into the capture point and you just kill as many people as you can before you die? It's the Glacial Staff version. You throw a sticky potion down... <laughs> And then you cast your glacial spell. So the uh, do the slow stack. I don't have sticky. I can. I guess I can get on the test realm and throw a sticky potion and hit hit a mob with a slow and see if it double slows them. If that's the case, they would not be able to escape the glacial staff and they would die. Guys, is that the new meta? Do we? I got to do some testing. I guess I'll. I, I I don't have time. It's fame week. I don't have time to get on the test realm and test this stuff. I'm losing. Losing farm if I do that. Guys, what if that's the meta? What if we just discovered the ultimate weapon combo in the game? I gotta test this. Oh, Sticky Potion plus Glacial Staff. Does it slow? Does it work? <laughs> Is it viable? Can we make it happen, boys? All right, uh, did I did I get all the materials from the- I, I think this is everything, right? Or maybe it's not. I think we have to have one more round of sticky potion crafting. Yes. Yeah, we do, because we were overweight. We had to put stuff back. Man, I have burnt through how much silver? Just, just on crafting fees, like five, six million, like almost a premium's worth. By the way, if you watch my videos like every day, you'll notice that my gold count keeps going up. Um, like it was at 9,000 whenever I first got premium because I used gold for premium and now it's back up to 12,000. That's from referral rewards. Um, you know, being Albion's number one YouTuber at this point, um, which is kind of unfair because it's like the other YouTubers, you know, they were pretty good, but one of them got hired by SBI. One of them, uh, is my, is my software lagging? No. One one of them just quit for his real life job. He hasn't made any content in months. Sad day. Uh, and another one just died. Like I didn't even know. <laughs> like I'm not laughing about it. I'm just that's not fair. That's not fair at all, man. Like that I'm not. Come on. That just makes me like winner by default, which is not winning at all. That's like lame. Really lame. Like. You know, at least give me a fair chance to prove myself and stuff, not win because someone, you know, just because uh, stuff in real life happened. I don't know, man. It's a little upsetting. Well, more than a little, I, I suppose. But you, you get the idea, right? Right, guys? Um, I'll have to make one more run after this for Sticky Potions, but... I, I basically I'm, I'm Albion's top YouTuber because uh, everyone else either quit or had real life stuff happen to them, uh, not because of my hard work and um, videos. So yay, I I won, but at what cost? It's not really winning. It's more like oh you're the last survivor. Here you go. Uh, my software freaking, it's it's acting up again, guys. I hello, hello. Yeah, it's acting up again. I gotta stop recording. Um, Freaking, is it Steam? 
Is it Steam doing this? Steam, are you downloading it? No, Steam's not to blame. I'll be right back, guys. Hopefully this is in the recording. All right, so that was two crashes. This video, uh, if it ever, 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 if it ever sees the light of day, if it ever sees the light of day, it'd be, it's a miracle, man, because I don't even know if the footage got recorded properly. We're doing sticky potions. That's right. We're doing sticky potions. I hope. I know we did Gigantify first. I know we did that. It has to be sticky potions. But yeah, uh, take three. <laughs> Here we go. We're finishing up our potion crafting. Finally, uh, this momentous day in history where we uh, got everything above 50, which is great. I have no reason to level it further because, uh, like I said, the, the amount of farmland that I have cannot sustain <laughs> any more crops. Or rather, if I got more farmland, I could then increase my potion crafting levels to offset the focus cost, but... All the crops that I can gather with 44 plots, I can also spend with 28 focus per day. So, yeah. Hopefully that math is correct. If not, whatever, I'll level it up some more. I got all week to figure it out. I'm pretty sure I got it nailed down, though. That's all in a previous video. What were we talking about before my software crashed? Um, and why did it crash? I don't get it. Am I, am I overloading my computer? Is like, can it not handle? Am I recording at too high of a quality? I'm not going to disregard the quality so I, I don't know man just i'm recording at the good the, the good high quality all right like uh, albeit's not really that hard of a game to to record at good quality but like a first person shooter where there's like tons of grass and and very fast moving pixels you know those games get kind of grainy if you record at low quality and i don't want you know i just want my recording quality to be the same across all games yeah if i played a, a brand new shooter game it's going to get a little grainy Unless I used a second computer and, you know, like, hardware, s screen capture software stuff. Th that's a little too advanced for me. That's a little too much work for me right now. I'm a little, I'm too small of a channel to care about that much. Like, I'm not a company. I'm not a big production company. I don't have to worry about that kind of quality loss. As long as you guys enjoy the video and, and get something useful out of it, I think a little bit of grain here and there in, like, a shooty game is fine. Right? Like, it's not going to make me click off of a video. If it makes you click off a video, then, uh, you know, you're kind of the problem with YouTube, in my opinion, right? Like, uh, YouTube being taken over by all these actual television channels and, and broadcasting networks and stuff like that. I know YouTube loves it. I'm sure they get tons of money from it. Uh, but us, us users, us normies, us regular folk just, you know, playing on a computer, playing a video game, don't. All right. And I'm never siding with those kinds of people. Like, you're never going to see this channel become some sort of executive editorial masterpiece where I have a whole team of people, you know, a sound engineer and like five editors and all that cringe crap. Nope, it's just going to be me. That, that's all you get. You, you know, like, uh, that's it. <laughs> uh, in before the future where, like, like <laughs> the future streaming on Twitch, dude. Oh, he said he would never stream on Twitch. Why is he on Twitch? All right, this is the final craft. The final craft down. Da -da -da -da. Don't copyright strike me, please. This is the final stretch. That was the word I was looking for, but you know me, I just have to like ad lib it. I want to know why my software has has crashed though. That's just so weird. Like, maybe it's a patch because this this freaking software, uh, OBS, it patches automatically, right? At least for me, it does. Like, when I open it, it will just patch, and I don't have a way to turn that off. I don't need any of these new updates, I don't need any of this crap running behind the scenes, it doesn't optimize things, it's ran the same as it always has. I just feel like a patch is going to break things, because that's happened with my old computers. Is like, I used to use an old version of OBS way back in the day, and they made this patch where you had to turn on, like, Windows Aero, A-E-R-O. Uh, which is like some kind of weird see-through crap on Windows. I don't know exactly what it is, but like my computer wasn't compatible with Aero. So I had to like figure out a hack, like a workaround, like a, a bootleg way to get it to work. And it was such a pain in the butt. And it's like the software worked perfectly fine without it, but then the update busted it. So why fix what's not broken? I hate that with like video games, with companies, with products. Like stop changing stuff, okay? If I play your game and there's something I enjoy about your game, don't change it into a new game. Don't change the recipe in your soda. Don't change the recipe in your rotisserie chicken. 
Um, yeah, I get it. You're trying to save money. You're trying to appeal to some broader demographic. Whatever. Y you don't need all this change. <laughs> all right, are we are we about to be done here? Are we finally done with crafting? This has been a very this has been like a two hour video. I'm sorry. I didn't I don't mean to make it this long, but it's just crafting. We're just crafting potions. Two hours of crafting potions with Swole Benji. It's it's, a, it's like a TV marathon or something. Okay. How how cheap can I craft this now? Twenty six. Uh, those the leveling those two potions to a uh, level fifty something saved us three focus. <laughs> Yay, three focus per craft. All right, where, where's our final tally here? We got fifty seven, fifty seven, fifty six, fifty six, fifty six, one hundred fifty six, and fifty seven. Now, if I wanted to put all these to fifty seven, which I don't. Uh, it would be pretty darn easy, you know, not too much, especially during fame week. But yeah, we did it, lads. All of our potions are now above level 50. Uh, it's been quite a, a wild ride. I spent, what, five to six million in crafting fees. I completely emptied the food on this one, uh, and this one's food is down to 26. It was, what, 80 something? So I, I just like used 60% of this bench and a good another chunk on this one. Uh, big shout outs to Eva Raider and uh, Teo Deed, if I'm saying that right, for having the cheapest prices in Bridgewatch. Much appreciated, lads. Please add Chads to your associate discount. If you're watching, if not, someone please tell them. Just send them a whisper, send them a mail. You can I can't send them mail because I'm perma-muted. I literally can't. Also, you get fireworks, um, and I have last year's fireworks, well, some of them. Uh, yeah, so that's the video, guys. That is the potion crafting video. Uh, let's, let's get a final tally real quick. I just, uh, hold on, let me find my sticky potions. And let me get all the raw ingredients out of here. Except for those. You know what, let's take these and we're just gonna put them over here for, for money reasons. Uh, just, just a little quick cleanup here. Get our materials out. Make sure everything is nice and organized. Alright, we are now ready. So, I had a surplus of, what, 1 million silver, essentially, in, in supplies. This is 7 million. 5 million in, uh, moonshine. Oh, boy. <laughs> Another... It's actually like 7.7 .7 million in Moonshine. Holy crap. Uh, almost 9 million in Resistance. 8 million in Sticky, which will never sell, by the way. 14.5 million in Healing. So this was the big... Th this one is just pure profit, because I paid way less. I'd say I paid like under 6 million. So, yeah, huge profit on that one. Uh, 8.89 million on the Energy Potions, and 7.97 on the Invisibility Potions. And that is... That's the video, guys. Uh, I'm Swole Bidgey. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay swole. Make sure you return your shopping carts. Leave a like and a comment on this video. If you do both, it is an algorithm cheat code. It is a YouTube combo, all right? Uh, so go ahead and do that for me. And also subscribe. 72% of you are not subscribed. Yeah, 72% of you aren't subscribed. Listen, I know my videos show up in your feed, but they won't always. They won't always show up in, in your feed. Hit subscribe right now. It's completely free. You can always unsubscribe later. I really do appreciate those that have liked, commented, and subscribed. Uh, I will see you in the next video. Take care, lads.